So today, as we share the homily, the Word of God for today's Lord's Day, as Father John had said that we are in now in the ordinary time. Ordinary time, as I said, it is time of action. It's color green. It means fruitfulness. It means to grow. It means application now of what we have learned. That the Word of God is not complicated. It is applied every day in every area of our life. Every time, anywhere, any place. And that's the simplicity of the Word. That the Word of God is the one that would lead us in our opinion, in our decision, every day. In small things and in big things, whatever situation we are facing. So today in our gospel reading, we talk about the practicality of the Word of God every day to apply the Word. No? This passage of Scripture in, in Mark, a lot of things you could get. But what I want to share this morning is the practicality of our everyday life. So my title for sharing today is, How do we handle criticism or accusation. Yan. Paano natin i-handle yung mga criticism, yung mga accusation, o mga marites na yan sa buhay natin? How do we handle that? Because that is part of life. As Jesus experienced it, that He had been accused, criticized, so you and me we will be Jesus is an actress too. That's part of life. And that is also, as you see it, an opportunity to apply the Word of God. What to do about it? So, here in our reading today, you could see Jesus was criticized. And He handled it well. With no much defense mechanism, nor angry uh, reaction, but in calmness, humility, and wisdom. And that also it should be. We're leaning to that. No? And here, you could see that accusation and criticism is normal. And what is abnormal is, how do we react to that? Normally, in the right way, or sometimes in abnormal way, that it leads more, more conflict and more problem, rather than solution and peace. So we'll see how Jesus will do that. So here in verse 20, chapter 3, and the whole chapter 3 is Jesus is really ministering to the people. He's ministering to the people. And then he's so busy the whole uh, day of preaching and sharing the word, doing the work of God. So in verse 20, the multitude came together so that they could not so much eat bread. And when their own people heard about this, they went out to lay hold of him. They said, he is out of his mind. So the people continued to come. And the disciples and Jesus have no time to eat, have no time to rest. That's why the interpretation of, look at this, verse 20. Hmm? And they said that, he is out of his mind. He is out of his mind. But his own people heard about this, and they own they held of him, and they said, "He's out of his mind." His own people, his relatives and friends, didn't understand him. Didn't understand the ministry. So it doesn't mean that this is not eating. It doesn't mean that the whole. Uh, Disciples not eating anymore. Parang pasting sila. No. Maybe at that time, uh, that time, they did not eat. Or maybe 
they passed the, the meals already. But they didn't understand and they criticized him. He is out of his mind. And these people, his friends and his uh, family, they didn't understand him. He is out of his mind. And the second accusation is from his enemies. From his enemies. And here, his enemies would say that um, uh, verse 22, and the scribes who came down said, from Jerusalem said, he is Beelzebul, and the ruler of the demons, and he cast out demons. So, the the, his friends called him out of his mind, and his enemies, Naturally, your enemies, you always criticize. He said, he's, he's Beelzebub. Beelzebub is, an, is a demon. It's a, a demon spirit. He call it, uh, other means is, he is the lord of the flies. Or he is the lord of the house. He's a filthy demon. And he was accused him of, he is using the demon's power to cast out demons. So that's the accusation. And it's, not, it's not good to hear. Baguhan na yung gano'y. Diyo, pang Michael Jackson, ang kwanda? Diyo, yeah, okay, okay. So, sometimes you hear accusation or criticism, uh, sometimes we don't like that. Whether it is true accusation, criticism, or wrong, not true. How do we react to that? It boils down to our attitude, to our maturity. How do we react to that? When somebody criticizes us, maybe right criticism or wrong, or another, another uh, they call it, constructive criticism that's what we like the flattery and the praise what about the negative criticism or they call it uh, destructive criticism and what about it is a true accusation or is wrong accusation how do we act how do we act to that it always shows our maturity, our values, and what we are made of. How do we react to that? Like Jesus reacted in calmness, in humility, and in wisdom. And then, here, look how Jesus reacted. And he said, he just explained. He explained about contrasting if the kingdom is kingdoms divided, that he's not using the enemy's power to cast out demon. He's not using the power of the devil to heal the sick. But he said, if kingdom against kingdom, it will not uh, stay long. If I'm using the power of the devil to destroy the devil's work, I, the devil's kingdom will not last. So he made an example. About kingdom, about the house. If the house, the family against family, it will not last. It always broke down. And I said, if you want somebody to get in the strong man house, that is the devil's house, strong man house, it needs a stronger, somebody stronger to get in and tie him up. And Jesus is stronger than the enemy, and he would tie him up. So in his example, it is very, very, what you call, impossible to use the power of the devil to cast out the devil's power or the devil's work. So that is his explanation. That's it. No exaggeration, no shouting, because first of all, he knows who he is. He knows who he is. And second, he knows what he is doing. That's why he is secure. He is secure. If somebody would criticize him, if somebody would accuse him of something not right, 
He didn't react in a negative way because he secured himself. We react sometimes in a negative way because we are not secure ourselves too. Ourselves are so insecure. That's why we react also in a negative way. But Jesus reacts in, in a positive way. Now, it is Jesus. Jesus is perfect God. And of course, He's God. He will react that way in a calmness, in humility, and in wisdom. But what about us? That's something good we'll talk about. What about us? We are not perfect. We are not perfect. We do sometimes bad. We are capable of doing bad. We are not perfect. Capable of doing good and capable of doing bad. Also, we are capable of criticizing others, capable of accusing others. And others also are capable of accusing us and criticizing us. That's, that's life. But how do we act? Because this is now the time where we could apply now the Word of God. Being Christian. How do we react now? Because as I said, it would always boil down to our values and our maturity. And this is very important to God. Because how we react, we always show that how the Lord could use you and me for others. How the Lord could use you in this kingdom, in ministry. Our maturity, our values is very important to God. That's why in this example today, it just shows how do we react to this criticism in our lives. Because it is part. So let's go to the truth of our lives. What about somebody criticizes us and it is not true? Did you know? No? If you question why people criticize, well, that's part also of their, maybe they're immature also and they're not growing in the Lord. They just criticize and accuse people. But that's, that's we say, that's part of life now. What about somebody who accuses us it is not true? How do we react to that? Do we react in because, because somebody says it's not true, it means you are right. We have now, as you say, uh, would say, uh, uh, have the right to be angry because somebody criticizes us. You have the right now to, to, you know, to do things because being accused of which is not uh, true. But Jesus is not true. He just reacts in the calmness and humility. For us, what are going to do? Then forgive. That's the first thing we would do. Forgive. Application we have heard from the teaching of Jesus. Forgive. Oh. How we could apply forgiveness if nobody hurts you? Oh. Paano ma-apply yung forgiveness na yan kung walang umaaway sa'yo? E gusto natin po mabait tayo lahat. Ay maganda kung mabait tayo lahat. Eh hindi. Tayo rin, hindi rin tayo mabait minsan. Suplado rin tayo. Ganun lang yun. So that's why Apply forgiveness. A time to apply forgive. Being patient. Or, the Bible says, talk to that person. Why? Anong problema? Matasabi mo yun. Talk. Communicate. Historyahan. Or, natural way, mm. hindi mo lang papansin nun. Okay lang, kundi pansin. Or, kung dun itang Imutang i-black. I-black ni ko sa akong self. Sorry mo. I-black ni ko forever. Again, criticize mo ako. You criticize me, I will black you. Or, kung dati ka nga, 
neighbor, very good neighbor, nga every sometimes you have good food, you bring that food to the neighbor, wala na ngayon. Wala ka na. Wala ka ng Christmas gift sa akin. That is a reaction because somebody criticizes you. If learn to forgive, then forget. Continue the good work. Eh, kita sungguran eh. Hmm. Continue because do the good work because you're being patient, being forgiving, and don't change the, the good things do. Huh? Always do good things to those who are doing bad. What about if the accusation and the criticism is true? Ayan na. Ito maganda usapan to. Paano kung totoo na? Oh. How do we react kung totoo na talaga yung chismis na yan? How do we react when somebody accuses you, uh, criticizes you, or marries you, which is true? Hmm? What we gonna do? So, you see, it's easy to depend. Al sagad at mo dipinsa. Haman, haman. Ano nang pakialam? Ano pa sa buhay ko? Maybe wala siyang pakialam, pero si Lord may pakialam. Yan ang importante yan. Because God knows. Naakik tama sa mga marites nga naakik mga marites. Maybe. Or in another way. Huh? Kung asayrat mga marites don, sayo don ni Lord. Hmm. Di ba ka? Kaya gusto ng hambagon. If somebody criticizes you, if that is true, it means. God knows. And see the other way. Don't get mad at these people. But see the other way. See that it's God using them. Nagustong hambagon, if it is true, pundo hagon. Stop what you're doing if it is wrong. That's what the message there is. God is. If God could use a camel to speak, what about people? We don't want people like that. But we could see what's the other side. Maybe there are the eyes in our back. We cannot see our back. Can you see your back? No. People, other people could see our back. That's why they could see what we're doing. And if this, and if there's something wrong, and that's say to, to us, then. Instead of getting angry, said, thank you, Lord. You remind me. No. The first thing that I preached in Liberty Theater, uh, the bishop gave me an opportunity to preach the Word of God. Of course, I'm so excited. English, English, of course. And somebody gave me an, an, uh, an uh, what's this? Uh, a love of ring of 20 pesos. And at the other side of the box said, it didn't make English. <laughs> huh? Hmm. I, 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 I know what I'm talking about, how to be criticized. It hurts. Huh? But. Instead of making my defense, agale ha ay kamoria. Sometimes that is a reaction of people who don't want to be corrected. Mm. It is our pride. Pride lang yan. Kaya sa lahat ng fried, yan ang madapat ng mahirap kainin yung fried na yan. You don't want to be corrected. But, in only way, because ordinary time is what you call bearing fruit. We have to change. See it in another way. 
not to destroy us, but in our growth. Lord, that's when I say that, Lord, thank you, give me my mother. I will study more English. Hmm. Instead, niya mag sunggod ako. Hindi lang ko, hindi lang ko. Si, sunggod. Hindi lang, hindi lang. Okay, Lord. I will study more. I will read more. So that I could, as somehow, somewhere, I could speak English right. Siyempre. Especially now. We're now in a, in a, in a uh, birds of communication. We're worldwide. Now in the Philippines, worldwide na tayo. Yes. So our audience in the in the uh, Facebook is worldwide. You could see most of those likes in our uh, account there, Saint Michael. I don't know, but from Africa, whatever. So somehow that's true. I have to develop my English, and thank you for that criticism because I've learned. I will learn, learn more, learn more. Instead of getting angry. See? Because see, it as a way of growing. Because people who don't want to be corrected, people who refuse to change, are people who are not growing up. And always, if you're not growing up, somewhere, somehow, you are always be the source of the problem. Isang bilog ka sa mga problema. Sa bayay, sa opisina, sa simbahan, wherever you are. Thus, we have to grow. Because if you have grown in the Lord, somehow you're thinking what is good for others. Thus, we have to grow in the Lord. And to take responsibility. Because somewhere, somehow we make mistakes and thank the Lord. Put in time in me. So sometimes we blame other people for our mistake. We don't take responsibility what we're doing. Look at our first reading. Look at first reading. The account of when Adam, when Adam and Eve sin. Hmm? Verse eight. And they heard there around the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves in the presence of the Lord, God among the trees of the garden. Then the Lord called Adam and said, Where are you? She said, I heard your voice in the garden. I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. And I said, Who told you that you're naked? Have you called, have you eaten with the tree which I command you that you should not eat? The story here is that the Lord said, Adam, Eve is yours. But except, don't touch the tree. And then, you know, as always people, when you say, do not touch, they always touch. With pain. Mm. Ah, with pain. Mm. That's natural to us. And look at this, because God to, said to Adam and Eve, do not touch that fruit there. Do not touch. And of course, they touch it. And then, here's now the, the problem. Here's now the Lord is looking for them. And said, who told you that you are naked? Have you eaten from the tree of life? We said, I command you that you should not eat, because if they touch that, there's something wrong would happen to them. And then, at the close of the story, he said, Then the man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me the tree, and I ate also. Oh, depensya. Hindi rin mga depensya natin nga ron. Ro atin mga baliba nun. Wag kong pisaw ta ron. Kumita na yan. Doon pa, sa Garden of Eden. Lahat ng mga depensya natin, mga baliba, mga style, kung anong... Ha, so, automatic, depends on the Adam. Lord, this woman you give me, he's the one who give me the, uh, the fruit. Ah. The first, the something of irresponsibility of the cause of action, Adam did not 
he blamed the woman because the woman is the one who gave him the tree. And then the Lord said, Woman! And the Lord said to the woman, What you have done? And then Eve, the woman said, The serpent deceived me. Hmm. Wamat saya, wat saya si Adam, saya aku bayi. Hmm, saya na. And then woman, what did you do? No, baku. Saya, saya, saya serpent. They didn't want to accept and admit their mistake. And here the serpent. Oh, tak kira tak serpent. Aku make kering bar. Maybe this cat, this cat. That's what we're doing. We don't accept our mistake. We blame other people. We're not responsible for what we're doing. And I start to be honest, Lord. I made the mistake. When Adam said, "Lord, it's me," even though this woman gave me bit, even though this woman, but I also give consent. So good man, ako eh. It's also my mistake, or even my first mistake. As a man, because a man, you are the head of the woman. You are head of the family. As a leader, always in a family or in a church, whatever. If there's something wrong in the office in the church, the leader is the first to blame, because it is your responsibility. Whether it is not you, the one who make it, but the blame go first. And you don't want to take that. That's a sometimes problem. We don't want to admit mistake. As the famous songs of the 80s goes, it's hard to say I'm sorry. No, it's hard to say I'm sorry. Famous song in Chicago, yeah. It's hard to say sorry, Lord. Mani ako eh. It's hard to much say, say, nagsaya ako. You always do a lot of lying, lying, a lot of, of uh, 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 such reasoning just to, para maka iwas, makalagpas. Mm, why is that? Mm, mm. Why is karun? Eh, nalagpasan mo? The, but the truth of that is, it really takes humility to say, saya ako eh. And that's something, brothers and sisters, that we've learned about this gospel today. We all make mistakes. And that is natural. We are in the process of growing up. We are in the process of perfection. But in along the way, we need this kind of attitude to learn to admit what we mistake. Admit mistake. With no such our defense mechanism, because that's the only way to grow. That's the only way to grow, and that's the only way that every problem in the house, in the church, in business would be solved. If somebody says it is my fault, sometimes we we just do things that to. Not admit it, or sometimes, parang akig 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 akig. You know, may mga tao akig akig. Gumitin ro akig akig. Tas tas busis. Hey, di na tama ng istorya na akig ni mo. What about the issue? Hindi tama siya ng issue. Ay na akig kaut ing, di ba? Because if the issue is not solved, somebody is suffering. Somebody is suffering. The church is suffering. The family is suffering. The business is suffering because we don't want to take the issue because of our pride. But if we're honest to ourselves, honest one another, no, it hurts. But that's the only way. That's the only way. The truth will set us free. The truth says, if not, then. The problem will go along, 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 along. And who would suffer? It's you, us. So why not 
Speak the truth. Tell the truth in love. As, as, as Paul had said, do I became your enemy because I tell you the truth? Naging kaaway mo ako kung sabihin ko totoo sa'yo? Do I became your enemy? I'm always looking for a friend who would be honest to me. Saga ka. I like that. Because that's our true friends. They're really honest to me. Mali. Sometimes you don't want to speak the truth to them because maybe they would get hurt. Maybe they would not speak to us anymore. Maybe they would block us in their cell phone. But that is true friend. That is really a friend. Kung gusto ka mo mga piki, ang mga amigo, Rige hini po sa sandal, bilansaga ka gon, mga piki aron. True friends always say the truth in love to you. Meg, saga tara, mo tamra Lord, because they're concerned for you, concerned to the truth. That's why God is always the source of truth. And in our passage today, even Jesus was criticized because He's God, He could handle it. And that's something also to handle ourselves. We'll break this eyes, we make mistakes, we'll break this eyes. But praise God with humility, accept it. And Lord, help me to grow. Help me to grow. And the more people will respect you if they learn to be honest to yourself. People respect people who are willing to admit that they're mistaken. Because there are people willing to grow, willing to be corrected. And that's also what the Lord is looking for. Because He knows He would cooperate and He would be used by God. So let the light of God's Word continue to shine in our heart. And let be those dark sides in our lives would be shine up that would help us grow and heal our faults. Mm-hmm.